Um, so I'm just gonna give a few tips about breeding because it can get really crowded and hard. One thing you wanna do is when when you get a boy and a girl and they have eggs, they have to lay up to like 16 to 12 or 12 to 16 eggs. So you're probably gonna have to like a 20 gallon tank. I have a 10. That's why I can't. That's why my parents won't let me get um a another adult. It's a girl. So, but I, I really want it. So my parents told me I have to wait till I'm more because I'm getting a dog. Izzy is probably two years old. Two, three years old. They can live up to three to five years. But when you're breeding, they're going to bury it right in the soil right there. Or the, I have coconut dirt, so they would, they would probably bury it right in the coconut dirt. It takes us five to seven weeks to um, for the little eggs to hatch. You have to feed them fruit flies, or actually wait a day, feed them fruit flies. Then, then you're gonna have, and then they're very hard to take care of because they're so little. You can't guarantee that the bigger ones aren't gonna um, get the fruit flies before the little ones. Unless you get like a, a whole nother tank, then that depends, yeah. But you would have about 18 anoles if you put them, wait, all, like if you put them all in one cage, if you got 16, or you would have 14 anoles, 16 or 14 in there. So that's the problem because I only have a 10 gallon tank. My parents don't feel like buying double crickets and a lot of fruit flies. Um, so, yeah. Double crickets, double fruit flies. It's not gonna be really gonna be, it's, just, it's, it's gonna be hard. Then double tank, depends. You know, but they will eat. They will eat crusted leaves, um, because it it kind of it'll kind of feel like a crit to them, and they'll eat some leaves, but the breeding gets hard. It'll it takes at least thirty two, or actually it takes thirty. It takes two weeks for each egg. And it comes out as 16 or 14 eggs. So it's, it's going to take a while. It takes a while for them to get all the eggs out. But, um, so, sorry it's a little blurry. This might be a little hard to see. My back the way it's a little easier. There we go. Um, her tank is a 10 gallon. It could fit at least another lizard if we didn't get the babies. That's the hard part. I would get another lizard if we didn't, if they didn't want to have babies. So, yeah, that's all you mostly need to know when you get, when you get double, double lizards and if it's a boy and a girl, that might happen.